everyone welcome back to my channel so um i'm just packaging up what i made for um the group the halloween group swap hosted by west coast um crafty babe so i figure i should share this before i package everything up um so this is what they look like so i did share with you guys um these six by six here I'll do this. This one's not wrapped up. These were the six by six cut aparts in the um, Pinkaboo collection. And I thought, um, I had this in mind. I wanted to turn them into little baggies, but then, um, yeah, it, it just kind of, kind of like dawned on me. I was like, oh, I should use that for the group swap because it, you know, it's, it's not huge what we're sending out. Um, it's only like a few items, but, um, yeah, this is what, um, it looks like, and you guys saw that I did some coloring and I was able to use, um, these bigger, um, cut apart, um, from the cut apart sheets from the Day of the Dead collection. I'm sorry, it's like pretty late and I'm just wanting to get some crafting in before I head to bed. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything. I think it turned out really well and this is just one of those like clear kind of like cellophane packaging baggy things from Dollarama and then I'm gonna um put in some decorative shred and stuff and uh yeah so yeah this is what because I just made three of these and then I made um something um separate that I will share with you guys once that's done so okay so let's start off with the baggie. So they are six by six and I did zigzag stitch all around them. And then um, in the back, I just used up some ephemera. Um, and then I'm gonna, I made these cards that I left blank for the recipient to like re-gift or whatever. So yeah, they're just blank. They're like A2 sizes. Um, again, these sheets are like 12 by 12 that I didn't know what to do with so I, I'm very glad I'm able to like gift them to other people just really simple cards so I'll tie that everything up like this with a ribbon after for the backing but yeah this is what I made and of course you guys know I had to add my pom-pom trim along the top of the bag you guys know if you've been watching my videos for years now I love pom-pom trim but yeah so uh we were to make like a um, embellishment so you guys see me show these on Instagram so there's a rosette and then something store-bought um, I picked these up maybe a couple years ago from Walmart and they're just like I don't know if they're marker or pencil current or something but they switch out the colors it's really cute and then there's some twinchies back there and then just kind of like some cute pics um, this little notebook just a little mini witch thing and then another requirement was um, to create a bag topper. So there's my bag topper. I always use my, um, to make the doily, because I, I like that look. Because I actually don't have, maybe I have one bag topper die, but um, I love using this. It's just the six inch um, doily punch. So with six inch papers, it makes a perfect size doily. And then I fold it in half. Um, yeah, and then I just decorate it, so. So I just bagged it really simply, and then um, the another requirement was um, to make two paper flowers. So I did make two jumbo ones. Um, yeah, really, really cute and easy. I have a nesting die set I use to make those. And yeah, that's everything. So yeah, like, it, it did fit quite a lot in there for you know, a, just a little six by six, um, just two sheets that I sewed together. And um, yeah, and you were supposed to decorate, whether it was like a box or a baggie, you're supposed to decorate it. So I'm just gonna be putting everything back in there and then um, using here, this like ribbon from Dollar Tree. So this is pretty much the final product. Sorry for the glare, guys. So yeah. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Thank you, Em, for hosting this really, really fun group swap. Um, even though it was, like, a smaller one, it's super, like, fun. Um, and I'm glad I was able to participate because my renos were done early.
Just packaging up some um, swap goodies and I wanted to do a quick video um, of these bag toppers. I thought they turned out so good. The base is like a big um, doily punch that I, you know, folded in half. It's about six inches in circumference. And I did use a lot of the um, Frank Garcia 31 collection from last year and just threw in like other you know, random florals and whatnot. And I just love the way it turned out. Super cute. I hope the recipients enjoy. Uh, so... Yeah, guys, um, I hope everyone is doing well. Until next time, take care. Bye.